Hey guys, Honor Race here, and Psyonix just made an announcement that there will be a new update, and with that new update, we're going to be getting a new crate. And this crate is going to be the Player's Choice Crate, and what that means is that we, the Rock of the Community, can choose what's inside this crate. So, let's talk about this crate. What's going to be inside? Well, first of all, Psyonix never mentioned anything about rares, so... There might be a chance that we're gonna have no rares in this crate, and if we don't, then that would actually be awesome, because, you know, when you're just going for some good stuff and you just get the, the beautiful Mondo, amazing. But if there's no rares, then that means that this crate's actually gonna be pretty good, and if it's that good, then it might be harder to get, or it actually might be worth a lot. So, that's another thing to talk about. The very rares in this crate are actually gonna be a little bit different, but I feel like this change is good. They're allowing us to vote between Snakeskin, Dot Matrix, and Distortion for not the normal cars, but the import bodies. So let's say if someone doesn't have a mystery decal, and they're using the Breakout Type S, they can equip Snakeskin, Dot Matrix, or Distortion to make their car look a lot better, rather than just using the normal decals for that car. And I feel like that's really awesome. Now, when it comes to imports, this is where it gets interesting. We're not getting one import car, not two, but three import bodies. And we can choose from the ZSR, the Breakout Type S, the GT, the Takumi, the X-Devil, or the Roadhog. And I feel like that's pretty cool, so if we choose, let's say, the Dom, the Breakout, and the ZSR, we can have, like, the best import bodies to go in the crate. When it comes to exotics, we have the choice between all the exotics in the game. And we get to choose two, as usual, because every crate has two exotics. And I feel like the community is going to choose the best two wheels, and that will probably be Zombas and Lightnings, because when those are painted, they're worth a lot. But if they're going to be in this crate, that means that they're also going to be easier to get, and if you get them painted, their price will probably go down, but not that drastically. Now, what are my thoughts on this? I feel like it's pretty cool that they're doing this, that they're letting us decide what items we want in the crate, but that also kind of sucks, because we're not getting any new items. But don't worry, because CC5 will be coming, sometime in April probably, and we're going to be getting new items in that crate for sure. And Psyonix also announced that this is not going to be the last crate or anything like that. That means that we're going to be getting even more crates, and I honestly think that that's awesome. If you guys want to go ahead and vote, then I'll put the link in the description, or you can just go to the Rocket League website and find it there. And the deadline is February 1st, and as of the time this video is going up, that is actually tomorrow, so you guys might want to hurry up. And you have until midnight on February 1st to vote. Personally, I already voted. I voted for all the snakeskin decals on the import cars because, in my opinion, snakeskin looks the best for imports. I chose Breakout Type S, Dom GT, and ZSR. And for exotics, I chose Lightnings and Zombas. And now, I'm not saying you guys should choose this, that's just my choice. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to go check out this update because it's really gonna be awesome. And I'll see you in the next one.